In this Shonen Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on weapon mastery, how it works, the fastest way to level it up, exactly how you level it up and more. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ, now I'm still giving away 1000 plus a Lucent every couple of days, now if you want to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed, I'll pick a winner from the comments section of my previous Throne and Liberty videos and announce them tomorrow, so good luck everybody. So weapon mastery in Throne and Liberty is another way to make yourself more powerful, more useful. It's another reason to farm within this game. It's another reason to grind. One of many reasons to grind in this game. Now, if you go to your skills tab, you can see here the two weapons you have selected that you are using. Here is your weapon mastery and the level of that weapon you are using. Now, selecting on this point here, guys, you can see that there's three different paths. And this is the same for each weapon, by the way. But these paths add much more to your build when using said weapon that you're leveling up with that weapon mastery and yes i know it's still early game for many many players this game is getting new players every single day uh, and weapon mastery is still new to some people but this is all a learning curve i included was learning about this from day one and i mean i've got it down now but it's still there were still things i was still learning as days went by now, you can go through your own weapon of choice to decide for yourself where you want to spend those weapon mastery points once you get them with the methods we will talk about in regards to how the system works and how you level up your weapon in this respect. So how do you get weapon mastery experience and then indeed those points to spend here? Well, your first option, which is the fastest option in regards to earning more for less, but we are kind of limited with this and that's by doing those resistance contracts. So most towns within this game have a contract manager. These contract managers offer you those contracts. Now an important thing to note about contracts are your contract rights. Now here you have a total of 60 contract rights and what this means is for instance, I have 60 contract rights. I mean, I probably don't know as I'm making this video, but let's say I start with 60 contract rights. I will then eventually go down to zero. Let's say I do 60 contracts within a 24 hour period. I will go down to zero contract rights. Now, after every daily refresh, I am given 10 more contract rights. So yes, for sure, if I didn't do contracts for six days, I'll go back up to 60 contract rights. But yeah, you're given 10 per day of these contract rights and they are basically the limit of how many contracts you can do. How many contract rights you have is how many contracts you can do and you are given 10 per day on a daily refresh. It's as simple as that. Now with these contracts, you can only pick up five at a time. So once you have five on you, get them completed and then guys head back to your contract manager, pick up the remaining or refresh their stock and grab more. So these contracts, well, most I've seen anyway, will offer you the important items to use here in regards to leveling up that weapon mastery. These items are called training dues. Now you can see with these, they offer you points. These points basically are like XP. Each point is an XP, let's say for instance. And when you do these bounties, you are rewarded these training dues. So once you've done those bounties, guys, these training dues go into your inventory. What you want to do here, guys, is to simply use them. And this will go directly towards your weapon mastery XP for both weapons you have equipped. It's as simple as that. So yes, completing those contracts, getting those training dues, using them from your inventory once you have them. Uh, the XP goes straight towards filling up your weapon mastery progression bar. Once that progression bar is filled up, you get a mastery point to spend within that weapon mastery on any of those three trees you're building up towards. Now, some contracts do offer you more of these, while others offer you way less. I think this may depend on the difficulty of the area you pick the contracts up in and complete them. Uh, but yes, you obviously want to look for those contracts which offer you more of the training dues. It's as simple as that, people. Now, most of these bounties are really straightforward to do, but I'll try and grab the ones you won't be spending all day on, more or less the ones that you have to just like kill things for, run to a certain area, kill a couple of enemies, things like this are by far the easiest to complete. Uh, but yes, they're the ones you definitely want to be grabbing, the easier ones for sure. I mean, if you've got no choice and you're left with the longer one or the slightly longer ones to do, you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, if I were you, definitely pick up the quicker ones to do first. 
But yeah, once you have completed said bounty rewards, including the training dues, go into your inventory, which you then want to be using straight away. Another way to get these training dues, guys, is by doing and completing those co-op dungeons. This is a much longer way to get them, but at the end of the day, guys, if you run out of those contract rights for that day and you're doing those dungeons anyway, you might as well farm them. Simple as that. Now, another way in getting experience that goes towards that weapon mastery rank is by having those abyssal tokens and using them within open world dungeons. Now, what I will say is dungeons for many players, including myself right now, are hit and miss with some not having enemies within them. And I haven't got a clue what's going down here. I don't know whether it's bugged, it's supposed to be like this i just don't know what's going down if you can explain it down below let me know i believe my level 20 dungeon has enemies within them and the ones i've unlocked after this like the ant's nest completely empty but there was a stage a few days back where these these dungeons were full of enemies uh so yeah so i have no idea what's going down here hopefully there's a fix coming soon or there's something i'm completely missing but yeah, so the only dungeon I can really use for this is a very first level 20 dungeon. So yeah, these open world dungeons are a great place to earn weapon mastery experience. But at the same time, you need those abyssal tokens. Now, once you have abyssal tokens, which we'll talk about in a quick second, you can go into these open world dungeons, just slay enemies, just slay those ads, and you're rewarded small amounts of weapon mastery experience. Experience. Now it's not massive amounts but it still levels them up decently enough and especially if you're running these open world dungeons um, it's not too bad. But again guys you need those abyssal tokens if you don't know what these are I will explain. So abyssal contract tokens are an in-game currency that allows these enemies within open world dungeons to drop you loot and at the same time they will give you experience towards that weapon mastery. Now you may have some already, the amount you do have is represented by that small grey skull icon you can see in the top right corner of your screen, if you pull up your map you should see at the top of your screen Now there's a limit of how many of these you can actually carry and that number is 20,000 uh, So yeah, how do you get these? Well there are a few ways to get these, the first way and probably the best way is to get those abyssal contract token points which go straight into your inventory and you can stack these, when you use these from your inventory they reward you that certain amount they're named after. These ones I'm using here reward me 100 each time I use one. And that 100 goes straight towards my tally of Abyssal Contract tokens. But there are other ones I've seen in the game which reward you much, much higher. Up to 500 I have seen is probably even more than that. So how do you get these Abyssal Contract token points? Well, the most obvious way you've probably seen is by doing those resistance contracts offered again at certain towns from the contract manager, as I mentioned earlier. So a great way, guys, is to farm those contracts that offer you those training dues and these Abyssal Contract token points. So yeah get to doing those contracts guys they're very very important now you can also get these from co-op dungeons upon completing them you can also pick them up from your battle pass if you have i think they're on, maybe on the free pass and the paid for pass i'm not too sure but they're definitely on the battle pass you can also pick them up from those randomly fiery balls found in and around the map which when you grab them they open up portals too for even more loot but yeah guys when you have those abyssal contract tokens you can now enter open world dungeons slay enemies and you get experience for your weapon mastery and you also get other useful loot too so yeah guys quite a few ways to earn that weapon mastery experience to earn those weapon mastery points to upgrade your weapons even further beyond those skills so weapon mastery in this game is pretty important so yeah do what you gotta do do but that's more or less the basics and that weapon mastery in the game and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one